going on YouTube? It's been quite a while since I've done my last video. I don't know exactly where I'm going to go with this, whether I'm going to have more fishing. I'm going to focus on cleaning different reels. I know the next videos are coming real cleaning and preparing for um, tournament season for a friend of mine. Um, he has a lot of uh, ones had me cleaning quite a while, so he's going to send them to me and I'm going to actually take care of them for him. That way he'll be ready for whatever he needs or hopefully it'll give him a good clean reel, good clean uh, spin and, and good quality of fishing to get him ready for these tournaments he's got coming. Um, however, this video is going to be kind of short and sweet. I'm going to kind of give you a breakdown of what I use to clean, what I use to grease, and what I use for oil for getting these clean so that way in the next videos that's up to come refer back to this video for the you know what you'll need to purchase um i buy stuff from everywhere i got stuff that i just found i got stuff that i that i use that i bought in different kits and different things and i'll try to break that down for you here in just a second um and then at the end of this video i kind of give you an idea of some of the ones i've already cleaned and kind of give you a couple of images and pictures and stuff like that of um of ones before and after or the best I can of before and after for you because I didn't take pictures of everything but I just um and some pictures are already after I started breaking them down when I thought about it so but anyway I'll show you that here in just a second let me show you what I got for my cleaning right. setup let's go over my setup a little bit I'm using a foldable collapsible table um just so I can uh be mobile a little more and how to do this instead of a permanent uh setup desk um I have um, the complaints of my last cleaning video uh, of my hands are in the way, there's not a good angle or whatever. I'm hoping to solve that with this mounted uh, Cam Park. That's the brand that those These are not uh, GoPros, they're Cam Park. If you want more details, just leave it in the comments and I'll give it otherwise. Um, this is what this video is actually for. Just kind of give you an idea of what I use and, and um, how I, um, you know, as far as what you need that I use to clean um, these reels and, and and things like that. However, um, like I said, those are my cameras. To kind of give you uh, the rundown, um, these guys, this uh, the speed the speed cleanse from Lou's, and this real clean cleaner. Uh, these two are the kind I use. Um, this is my first time grabbing the aerosol. Um, I like the pump bottles better. The aerosol is pretty, um, pretty intense. Now, if you need to blow out bearings or something like that, this is not too bad. It comes with a little red straw, which um, um, is in my my bag, which I have a lot more um, items there. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea of what we're at, I'm just kind of going to go over it here. Um, that's what I use to clean. Um, I use two brushes. Q-tips, and this is a, a Q-tip, which is a, a synthetic tip. It's like a foam tip. Um, I use that to put grease in more, uh, spread it out uh, when I don't use my fingers. Um, I just started using this. This is from the Academy. This is the H2O. It's a uh, it's cheaper, but um, it's a, a thinner grease than I use. I also use this stuff right here. Um, this is more salt water, and I've found that when I put it in fresh water reels and stuff, it, um, it's a, got a tighter spin. It doesn't free spin as easy, but um, it's still really, really good stuff. So that's something, some stuff that I use. Uh, this is for the, this was for the gears and shafts and different things inside of there, and you'll see that when I start doing some cleaning videos. I use this to, um, you know, any sliding or gear-related items, I use that for it. Uh, this is for bearings. I also use this to lighten the grease a little. For instance, in uh, bait casting rods, the, the the little bar that slides back and forth across, I put this in, and then I'll and I'll add that just to give it um, a smoother spin through there. Um, like I said, I used two brushes. This one's just one that I've retired and put in here for this. This one's the one I come with a kit that I had, and I've really wore it out. Um, this one's a heavier bristle, and I think this is actually for golf, but uh, I've run into some ones that I've cleaned, and you can see at the end of the video that they've had some, you know, rust and grime built up, and that little pick, believe it or not, comes in handy to kind of get some of that hard oil out. As far as tools go, I have 
two different sizes. They, they're interchangeable to Phillips and flat. And this one does the same thing, but there's just, just two smaller pieces. Um, my hands are you know, kind of big and I kind of get that, you know, those right there. I use that tweezers for that, um, to break any, you know, nuts loose or whatever. I was using little wrenches and maybe I should still, because that way I don't kind of scar it up. But as far as, you know, with the different sizes and handiness and storage, I use this and I do have a smaller multi-tool that I can pull out. Um, now, as far as, uh, as you can see, this is sandpaper. This right here is 220 and this is 400. And I run across where some parts inside and the outside for that matter have kind of rusted a little bit. So um, this is what I do for that. Um, I got two tubes of this, this and this from the Academy. Those were uh, about $22 a piece. I ordered this and their cleaner, which was really good. That cleaner, I got that off of Amazon. Um, I can't remember the price at the moment, but I got those off of Amazon. And this come in another kit that I got. It was like $20-something. dollars. It come with these, this, this. There's a little wrench tool that I don't ever get out because, I mean, I don't, I don't use it. So I don't hardly have I do have it with me, but I don't normally get it out. And I use old shirts. I, I, I cut me, you know, rags. No necessarily size. I like them to be about that size. I like them, you know, to be able to so spin. I normally use two on a rod. And then what you can do is you can throw them in the washing machine. Soap, a little bleach. It'll clean them out. Um, this guy, I like to have something underneath. So that when the screw hits, it doesn't normally bounce off the table or whatever. Uh, plus, these are really cheap. I've got two of these. They're pretty thick. They're kind of soft. I do not use these to clean the inside. I use them for setting the dirt and the old ones on the top. Again, they can be washed, thrown in the washing machine. I got these from the Dollar Tree for just a few bucks. The Q-tips, I got like 500 for a buck. And um, I've got some other, let's see here. I got some of these is here as well to go underneath. They're not quite as thick as these, but I wanted to try both. And these are also, as you can see, reusable wipes. So you just throw them in the washing machine and wash them and then they're good to go. So that is gonna kind of give you a breakdown of what I use to do my cleaning. Uh, so in the next videos to come, when I start actually doing a breakdown and cleaning of some of these uh, reels, then you you can see and reference back to this video to see what I'm using to clean it. Now, let me show you a few that I've already cleaned up. So I just laid these out on, on my bed. I got a lot of these from, a lot of these are right-handed because uh, the where they come from. I, I got these, someone is actually getting ready to get rid of them. And in some of these video, or some of the pictures after you see this, you'll see that, um, that they're how they were when I got them. And um, at their current state, they're actually, in my opinion, fairly nice and fairly clean. So I'll hopefully right after this video, I'll have you a few pictures to look at. But uh, until next.
Until next time, guys, this is West Point Lake Willie telling you to keep your hooks wet and have fun. I'm out of here.